this is a good serious story now actually when when people under 18 years old are caught by the police for some crime they go to the children's court and this court is held uh, secretly i suppose you call it and you hear very little about it now today i'd like to show you exactly what goes on in the children's court and all the people you'll see are real officers of the court except for the little girl playing the criminal and uh, she's someone we got to play the part as an actress and here's Sheridan Jobbins to show you exactly what happens. Sally, there's an information before the court that you, on the 22nd day of June 1982, at Lidcombe in the state of New South Wales, did steal one packet of Texter colour pens of the value of 98 cents, the property of Fred Johnson's news agency. Mr Fitton, is that charge denied or admitted? If your worship pleases, that charge is admitted. This is Minda Children's Court and Remand Centre, and it's like dozens around Australia. The court basically tries children under the age of 18 for criminal offences which they commit or are committed to them. And the remand centre is where they wait, awaiting trial or sentencing. The facts, Your Worship, are as supplied by Detective Constable Conway of Lidcombe. It says about 3.15pm on the 22nd of June, this girl was seen by Mr Johnson, the owner of the store, in his store at Lidcombe. She was wandering about, looking at various articles, and he saw her go to where the texture colours were, pick up a packet and slip them between her skirt and jumper. She then walked fairly quickly out of the store without endeavouring to pay for the item. Mr Johnson followed her out, stopped her, spoke to her. She went back into the store with him and he called the police. The detective went down, spoke shortly to the child at the store and she went back with him to the police station. Her mother was contacted and she came to the police station and the child was spoken to again in her presence. Readily admitted what she had done, asked if she had any explanation, said not really. She did it because other children had told her that it was easy to do and you wouldn't get caught. As far as I'm aware, the child has not been in any trouble before. The officer tells me she appeared very contrite at what had happened. He feels that it will not happen again. If your worship pleases, both parents have attended the court today. I'd ask your worship to bear in mind when considering penalty the age of this particular child. She's 10 years of age. Your worship, she's attended school regularly. She comes from an excellent home environment. She's been through the trauma of being fingerprinted, attended a police station. Not only has her parents been embarrassed about attending the court today, but she's severely embarrassed and been upset since this particular incident. I'd ask your worship to admonish and discharge the child on this particular occasion. Do they all look as innocent as Sally? Yes. <laughs> really, it's just ordinary kids? Oh, yes. Yes. I mean, are the crimes as simple and innocent as shoplifting? Don't say that. What? Shoplifting is not innocent. There is no such crime as shoplifting. It is stealing. Can a child go to jail? No. Go to an institution, huh? Uh, what's an institution? This is an institution. It's not nice? No, I think they prefer to be at home. Sally, I look at your card and I see that you haven't offended before and that you've come before this court having stolen some pens that are worth 98 cents and you've thrown away your good name for 98 cents. And what you've done is you've stolen. And if I read to you out of the Crimes Act, the penalties for stealing, you would find that you could go to an institution for 12 months and I could find you $1,000. I've listened to what your solicitor has told me. I'm going to admonish and discharge you and you can go out of here without a criminal record and I hope that I don't see you again in this court. Mm. Oh boy. That's really what happens. Thank you to the little girl, Michelle Foster, who played that part. But that really is what happens, and uh, there's a lesson there. That's all there is in today's show, but don't be disappointed. Just remember, the world really is wonderful. Bye-bye.
don't go away because Simon and the gang will be back with more Wonderworld in a few moments.